make a jellyfish project. So what you're gonna need first is you're gonna need a brush, paper towel, some white and blue paint, your canvas, and some water. Before you even start, you should put your name on the back of the canvas, just so you know which one is yours. So we're gonna make a jellyfish, and we are going to make a blue background. These jellyfish live in the ocean. So we're gonna make a blue background, but we're gonna do blue, light blue, and then some white on the top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paintbrush, dip in the blue, and across the middle of the canvas, you're gonna put a nice blue line. Then you're gonna paint everything below that line blue. And as you're painting, you wanna make sure you get all those chunks of the paint, spread those chunks out. Don't want any chunky paint. Once you're finished with that blue, you don't even have to wash your brush. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take the cap of your paint, and even when you have blue on your brush, that's okay. You're gonna take a scoop of white and mix the blue that's on your brush and the white together, and you should get a light blue. If you need to add more white, you could just scoop more white. If you wanna add a little more blue, scoop a little more blue. And you just want a different shade of blue than what you already have. So I'm gonna cut that white section up on top into two. So I'm just gonna put a line through that white section and I'm gonna paint everything below, below the blue line up to my dark blue ocean with that light blue. We're just trying to get different colors in our ocean. And you could paint left to right, up and down, whatever is easier for you. Spread that paint out. Once you spread that paint out, I want you, so there should be a line between your light blue and your dark blue with your paintbrush and try and take some paint off of it so try and take some paint off of it. You don't need to wash it. Just take a little paint off of it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go left and right and you're gonna blend those two blue sections together. So we have light blue that goes into dark blue. So I'm just going left and right over that line. So then I'm not gonna wash my brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of the paint off and I'm gonna fill my top section with white. And you should have some blue on your brush, so it's gonna become like a really light blue. So fill that top section with white. Spread any chunks of paint you have. Once I have that done, I'm gonna take some of that paint off my brush, just using the paper towel, you don't need to use water yet. Just take some of that paint off and that area between the light blue and the medium blue, you're just gonna go left and right, go over it. So you have a light ocean to medium blue into dark blue. So it gives our background just a little bit of interest. All right, so at this point you can wash your brush and you're gonna need to find your bubble wrap that you have. So you should have a piece of bubble wrap You'll see, feel one side is smooth and one side has all the bubbles. We want the bubble side. We're gonna make this bubble wrap into some bubbles in our ocean. So what I want you to do is you're going to, with your washed brush that's kind of clean, you're gonna take some white and you're just going to paint over those bubbles. You wanna make sure you're painting over the bubbled side. 
So make sure you're painting on those bubbles. Once you have that bubble, we're gonna pretend that this is a stamp. So you're gonna turn it over and then you're just gonna put some bubbles in the background of your ocean. After about two like stamps, you might wanna put some more white onto it. So this is just adding a few bubbles in our ocean. Bubbles. All right, so I did my bubbles about three times. You do it about like three or four times. And then we're gonna put this aside to dry and you could close up your paints because we will not need them now. What you're gonna need is you're gonna have to find your clay. So I opened my clay and this is just model magic. If you have some paint on your hands, it'll come off on the clay, but that's okay. So we're gonna make some jellyfish with this. So you're gonna play with it for a little bit, make it nice and smooth. The more you play with it, the easier it will be to work with. So play with it, warm it up, stretch it, put it back together, pull it, put it back together. After you've played with it for a while you what I want you to do is I want you to separate it into like chunks so I have I'm gonna make three chunks I have less I have less clay than you but that's okay so I have about three chunks of clay and what I'm gonna do at this point you're gonna need your marker so our jellyfish are gonna have white bodies but we're also gonna put like little dots on them and our dots are gonna be used with marker and our clay so we're gonna color some of our clay. So I want you to take one of those big meatballs that you have and I want you to flatten it in your hand. And then you could take your marker, whatever color you were given, and you're just gonna color over the top of it. Once you color it, and your hands are gonna get a little dirty, but that's okay. Once you color it, you're gonna mix that color into your clay. And your white clay, I had a purple marker, so my white clay is going to become purple. It's gonna be a lighter version of the color that you were given. But if you want it to be darker, you just keep on adding marker. Just keep on adding marker until you get the desired color that you have, like. So I'm happy with that light purple. If you can use your neighbor's marker, you could also use their color or you could find another color. And I'm just gonna make an additional color, but you don't have to, you only really need one color. So I just have yellow, so I'm gonna make some yellow. And the more you color on it, the more color will be in your clay. So I'm happy with my colors. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that remaining white and I'm gonna make three jellyfish. So I'm gonna divide it into three. And then I am just going to roll them into meatballs. So I roll them between my hands. If you wanna use your table, it might stick if there's paper on your table, but I'm just rolling them in my hands. So you have three meatballs. Once you have three meatballs, what I do is I kind of make them into almost potatoes or ovals, and then I flatten them. And you can flatten them a lot, flatten them in your hands. That's okay, so I have one. I'm gonna roll the other one out and then flatten. Just pinch them between your fingers, that's okay. Roll, 
and flatten. Once I flatten them on the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pinchers. I know everyone likes to pinch. So I'm gonna take my pinchers and I'm just gonna pinch the very bottom of our jellyfish. So that's gonna be the bottom of our jellyfish where we just pinched. I'm gonna do it to each one. Pinch the very bottom. And it doesn't matter what side you make the bottom. Once I have my jellyfish body done, I'm gonna put those aside. I'm gonna put my colored clay aside. I'm gonna get my canvas again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your small brush. It should be clean because we haven't really used it. And I am going to make the tentacles to our jellyfish. So I'm gonna just dip in some white. I'm gonna just put a dot somewhere. And from that dot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some tentacles. So I'm just gonna make long wavy lines from that dot. And I'm gonna make a good number of wavy lines. And I'm just doing it from the dot. So then I'm gonna do, we have three bodies, so we need three sets of tentacles. I'm gonna do one up here. So I'm gonna put another dot up there. And then I'm gonna put long wavy lines. So there's my other set of tentacles. And I guess I could put one up here too. I'm gonna to put a dot up here and then put some tentacles. After I do those sets of tentacles, I'm gonna find my glue. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue my bodies right on top of my tentacles, right on top of that dot that we made. You only need a little bit of glue and you could glue down your bodies of your jellyfish. So I have my bodies. And you only need a bit of glue and it does not matter that your paint is kind of wet. Only need a bit of glue. So there we have our jellyfish. At this time, if you want to add more tentacles, go for it. So I have my three jellyfish. Once I have my three jellyfish done, and now the fun part. What you could do is you're gonna use your colors. And what I like to do is I make little worms and little meatballs to decorate our jellyfish. So this one, I'm gonna make little worms on it. I'm just gonna place those worms down and we're gonna decorate our jellyfish. These are good jellyfish, not the ones that sting. So then I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some meatballs up on top ones. Meatballs. There's my other jellyfish. Now I have some yellow. I can decorate some yellow meatballs too. So you could kind of decorate your jellyfish however you'd like. There we go. So then I have my little jellyfish swimming in the sea, little painting over here. So you're going to the paint should be dry in like 10 to 15 minutes, but your clay will still be tacky for another day or two. So don't press too hard down on it. Don't stick your fingers in it that much, but your clay will be nice. It'll still, it'll be dry, but it'll still be a little soft tomorrow. All right, I hope you guys had fun painting with me and you could add whatever decorations you would like to your jellyfish.